Hello and welcome to Wendy's After the Eviction. I'm here with my girl, Shania. I don't even know what to say. Like, how are you processing all of this right now? I, I don't even know if I am <laughs> processing it, to be honest. Like, I'm shocked. I did not wake up this morning thinking that I would be standing here. I mean, anything can happen in the Big Brother house, but truly, I did not suspect to be on the stage. I mean, I don't think anybody expected that. <laughs> so speaking of not expecting things, you started the game dead last with Renee, right? Yeah. Did you expect to make final six? That's a huge accomplishment. Think of who went out. I know. Honestly, I came into this game probably with too humble and just getting past first week was an achievement for me. I'm really trying to feel proud that I made it to top six because that is crazy in and of itself, especially starting dead last stuck in the net for like 20 minutes. Not the net. Not the oh net. My God, I just... can't do it with nets anymore <laughs> after this. Okay, so you just had a very emotional moment with your two probably besties, I yeah. guess, in the house. Um, talk to me about the girly pops. We're gonna like separate them out, okay? Yeah. So, so let's talk about Renee, your partner, the original yeah. dead last partner. Yes. Renee is, oh my God, I feel like I don't even have to say it. She is a superstar. She is a powerhouse. She is a social warrior. And she, you know, we obviously have a couple years age difference, but she has inspired me to stay strong in the face of adversity. I have so much respect for Renee. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh wow. yeah, she's, she's a great lady, a great little fighter. And yeah, I love her a lot. Mm -hmm. And tell me about Claudia. Oh, Cece. I, oh gosh, Cece has been there for me through so much. I think this house has brought a lot of self-doubt out of me and that's something that I've been struggling with in this house, you know, figuring out where I fall and if I'm worthy and so on and so forth. And Cece has been there for me through that every step of the way. She's always in my corner, always, you know, helping me and telling me that I am that girl. And I truly don't know how I would have made it through that experience without her, even though she's the one who sent me packing. Cute. I, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, you guys were really, really tight, but at one point, you know, you were looking at Renee as, okay, yeah. well, someone's gotta go. Things really change fast in there. They sure do. How are they gonna do without you being the glue? Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. it's funny that you say that because things could have gone so differently. With a whodunit week, Claudia was ready to throw Renee out of the door, and I kind of was the one that was like, okay, no, you need to pull it back. We need this three. We need this trio. So. I don't know how they're gonna move forward. Obviously, it seems like Ty has given them some sort of deal mm. and that he's gonna work with them and they see that that's how they'll move forward in this game. I think if Ty makes it to the end, he's gonna win this for sure, so I don't wow. know. Wow, did you expect that the girly pops would dominate the I, end of the season so far? Look, everyone underestimated us and that was the thing that we talked about so much you know i was called a floater we started this game just with a group of guys calling us numbers for them and we heard about it and we said hell no and i'm so proud that we did that we've been underestimated we've been called floaters we've been called weak and i'm just so happy i would have loved to showcase more but i'm so happy that i got that veto win and started our kind of winning streak it just brings me so much joy and i would have loved to been able to do more but i'm happy that i got to do that no for sure no you had your moments and what i think a lot of people watching got a lot from was you did showcase some of your vulnerabilities yeah and yet you stood your ground yeah. you stood up for yourself time and again the whole house said don't use it you're like i'm gonna use it <laughs> The whole house made it into the library. You said, guys, <laughs> oh God. you left us out of the library. Yeah, library gate. Oh, my God. Oh my God. So were, were you surprised by that aspect of, of your experience, that you suddenly, maybe, like, Loki, you are that girl. Ah! I hope so. It, it did surprise me. I mean, I with the veto, I just kept thinking, like, what would my friends and family think watching that episode? That's what I kept going back to. And I was just like, if they see me not use this, they're going to be so disappointed. Mm -hmm. And I just knew, like, that in my heart was like, okay, this is the right decision. Mm -hmm. I don't know what came over me with the library. I think, I mean, I was obviously on the verge of an anxiety attack. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, well, no, I will ask you. I will are you surprised that it's as emotional as it is? Like, there have been oh my God. insane waterworks oh my God. for weeks. Daniel C. and I are just, like, crying every day in that freaking house. Look, I'm an emotional person. I don't think anyone that knows me would be surprised about that. But I am surprised about 
how things I am insecure about on the outside find a way to follow me in here and are actually even more like explosive, if that makes sense. You know, like talking about rejection, talking about <laughs> oh, self-doubt, no. you know, all those things that are problems for me in my everyday life really found a way to actually be more of a problem in this house. So that is what took me by surprise. I knew I was gonna be up in here crying. I knew, I knew, I knew. <laughs> very relatable though, very, very relatable. Now, do you have any regrets? Like, again, you guys were dominating, and somehow you're sitting in front of me. So something went wrong somewhere. Something. Can you pinpoint what it was? Well, Ty said to me that me using the veto really messed up his HOH, and that's why he kind of needed to see me gone in this moment. That's oh. what he relayed to me in the library. So if that's the reason that truly, if that's the reason that I'm gone and he wanted Renee to yeah. stay with Cece over me, then I'm okay with that because I don't regret using that veto for a heartbeat. Did you remind him that he chose you? <laughs> right? Oh my you know? God, I know, <laughs> I know, delusion. No, if that's the reason I'm gone, then I don't regret it for a heartbeat because I feel like in that moment, it it's, was one of the, it sounds cheesy, but one of the hardest things I've ever had to do was stand in front of people whom I care about and say, screw you, I'm doing it anyway. Any well, we regret? love to see it. Yeah, exactly. We love to see it. <laughs> now you're off to jury. Yes. Um, what kind of game are you going to reward? Oh gosh. I think I'm gonna reward someone who is an all-around player. Uh, we talk a lot in the house about sportsmanship, about somebody who shows up, and I think a bounce of confidence and a bounce of humility as well is for me what I think makes a, a winner. And okay. that's what I hope to see at the end. Okay, but what do you think, uh, what do you think Dan's gonna say when you walk oh in? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think he's gonna be so disappointed that I'm there, but I miss him in the house, so I'm excited to see him there. Okay. Um, <laughs> who do you want joining you in jury next? Ooh, you know, I would not be opposed if Ty walked in next. Let me tell you, <laughs> that man is freaking unbeatable. Oh my God. So I would not be opposed to see Ty, that's for sure. And to be totally honest, obviously I am so close with Renee and Cece, but truly, if any one of them win at this point, I love those guys so much. They all deserve it for different reasons. So whoever shows up, I'm gonna that. be sad, but. No, I love that, I yeah. love that. Okay, so you told me, you know, you're rooting for your girls, giving Renee the edge. Who do you think will win? Like if you had to put all your money on it. Let me see. A part of me thinks that Daniel C is a very big contender mm. to get there. I know that people have their eyes on him because they think that he'll have a landslide jury vote, which is very likely, but given the connections that he has in the house right now, I could see him winning this thing for sure. Ah, uh, well, we yeah. shall see, we shall <laughs> see. Uh, uh, just so you know, you have some Wendy's rewards points. Oh my away. gosh. You have 9,675 oh. points. Is that good? That's amazing. Oh. Who are they going to? Oh my God. Um, oh wow, this is a, hmm. You know, I'm gonna give them to Claudia. I know she feels really bad, so I hope that helps ease her. Okay. Yeah. Amazing, yes. amazing. Well, Shanae, you're gonna have a great time with Jury. You have a big <sighs> decision, so. <laughs> huge decision, and a lot of people are crying tonight to see you leave, okay? I hope so. <laughs> no, that's that's a fact. Um, so we'll see you back here for finale okay. tonight, right? Okay, okay. Well, listen, things really did get heated tonight thanks to our double eviction, in fact, they were almost as hot as Wendy's new ghost pepper ranch chicken Ooh. sandwich. It packs heat and flavor into every bite, but it's only available until May 28th. So go get it. Like I'm actually shocked. <laughs>